Welcome back, Hostiles of the Republic. It's your Coruscant Underworld Police Chief, AP Gaines, here on the Nikki Biggs Early Game Free-to-Play account, and we're going to talk about when you should start farming General Anakin Skywalker, a.k.a. Gas. Now, as you guys know, Gas is the best non-Galactic Legend team in the game. He is uh, one of the steeper requirements as a non-Galactic Legend. He does require uh, a fair few uh, either relics or really good mods or just years of your life because the events are doable at low gear. The problem is it takes just ridiculous amounts of RNG, as anyone who's tried to undergear uh, would know. Um, by the way, if you can do the gas P4 event with a purple Magna Guard, uh, you are just like AP Gains, and you have a big penis. That being said, what are some of the criteria we should likely want to hit before we start unlocking General Anakin Skywalker? Some people like to rush General Anakin Skywalker. They open up with like a really strong Padme. They go for C-3PO early, then they go GG Separatists, and they have their gas you know, sub 1 million GP or something crazy like that. Now, while an early gas is uh, fantastic, um, it can be kind of a long journey, and it doesn't leave you with a whole heck of a lot. Because um, if you don't also go for General Grievous, uh, you can kind of be stuck with, like, just a Padme team and, like, some droids. Um, and that's not, that's not inducive to a fantastic Grand Arena uh experience uh simply just limiting yourself uh it's kind of the same situation why we never want to rush galactic legends because it leaves us in the same super super vulnerable situation um so generally i always tell people that you know you everyone knows follow your ap gains approved farming guide the best farming guy in the game blah 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 blah, blah. you guys all know that already um but i usually say after malik is probably a good time um, after you have your relic Malik, your Darth Revan, your Jedi Revan, all that other good stuff, is probably a good time to go for gas. Like you should have a Darth Revan Malik team, a Jedi Knight Revan team, probably a little bit of a Padme team, a Vader, a Bounty Hunter as a CLS. You should have Treya up and running with her Zeta to counter or, uh, to counter Geos whenever you see them, um, and of course Ewoks to uh, to get your C three PO because of course C three PO is a requirement to have up. That's generally about the point where you want to start going for gas. Like her account right now, 1.6 million GP. She's got good ships. She's got some good teams. Is probably the point at which you want to start going for the gas. Now, the reason I say this is um, you have enough teams to have more than enough teams to fill your zones. You're going to be punching up quite a bit. Uh, we haven't played GAC on this account in like two weeks or something like that. It's been it's been crazy the amount of GACs we've missed on this account. Um but you're going to be punching up. You're going to have a good team. So no matter what kind of situation you find yourself in, because the way matchmaking, of course, as you guys know, uh, works right now, is you're always going to be facing stronger opponents. You're never going to face someone less GP or the same amount of GP as you. You're always going to be... Well, take that back. Theoretically, there are some people out there who are facing worse opponents and have easy matchups. But those players aren't the people watching these videos because these videos help get you to the point where you're facing... Uh, people who are a lot stronger, a lot tougher, a lot more GP, a lot more teams, all that sort of good stuff. So with the with the kind of strategy that I outlined there, we have enough teams to kind of go in efficiently full clear uh, with good ships or kind of hold them off a little bit depending on what their account looks like. If it's super top heavy, like they're, a, they're an SLKR C rusher, that's going to be our easiest uh, victories. We place all our stuff on defense. They're not going to have enough teams to full clear. Um, or even break any zones, to be honest, because they're probably going to place their one good team on defense. If it's an SLKR rush, um, they're probably going to place their SLKR on defense, and then like literally any Padme team of any strength whatsoever beats um, any of the First Order teams that they're going to throw together that don't have SLKR in it, so that First Order team is going to be gone. Outside of that, we can assume that maybe they have one or two other teams, um, that maybe they place on defense, we can beat those easy, and then just whatever zone SO Kara is not in, uh, we clean up, we beat. And uh, that's it's just the main reason why, especially SLKR and kind of also C, you kind of have to just either hope that your opponents are bad, which only ever happens if you're yourself are bad, right? If you're facing bad opponents the way the matchmaking system works, that means also you're not that great. Um, so we kind of we kind of love it when we face those accounts because we got more stuff. I mean, SLK on offense or defense is only one team or C. Um, you can't beat it, but you don't need to, which is the great thing. So 
It's returning to gas a little bit. It's kind of the same situation the very early game. Um, we don't want to go for it right away because it does take some relics. Uh, you have to get your Ewoks up and running to get C-3PO. You need either a, a fuck ton of free time to do the to, to do P2 and P4 since they're very RNG dependent, or you need really good mods for P2. I, I don't remember exactly what speed it is. Someone told me it was 270. For some reason, I thought it was like 320 um, for, for gas P2. I mean... I don't know if I can even open up the gas event right now. Thank you for trying to sell me a pack here, my friend. Um, so you either need a couple of relics on the old Padme team or good mods. Um, and mods can, mods are very time dependent, right? Um, yeah, I don't remember um, if it's 320 or 270. Someone, someone in the comment section let me know what the speed requirements are uh, to go ahead of those droids in the P2 event. Um, but mods are very time dependent the longer you play the better mods you have basically so this is not this event if you go the mod focused route as opposed to just relicking everyone crazy um is uh is not the best idea because you're basically flipping the they're rolling the dice flipping the coin whatever whatever gambling luck based metaphor you want to use here um to make sure that you have the speed on the Padme and the, the and all this stuff to make sure that you can go ahead of those droids, take them out, kill General Grievous before he just AOEs you to death. Um, as far as this, you can do this as all well, Gear 12s or just with a Relic B2. Um, with, the P4 is no longer kind of the sticking point of this because they drastically nerfed Gas um, in this event. Um, I think he's better in actual GAC gameplay when they when they made his nerf when they when they reworked his kit but as far as the event is concerned um it's a lot easier to do with lower gear lower relic stuff now um so you really only really need you know like zeta 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 relic maybe also relic over here um i would say relic b1 than b2 because in actual use these guys are more useful in actual use these guys are more useful that was great english their ap gains but a Relic Droidica is going to be better for the events, but less useful in actual GAC because eventually you phase out Droidica for like a Watt or new gun ray, depending on what level of the game you're in. Um, so you can't go wrong with Relicing either of these two. Droidica, of course, is, is fine. Magna Guard is a, is a requirement at Relics anyway, but once you get the GG team, having a Relic is also very nice. Um, but yeah, I would generally make sure that you are at least, let's just say a general rule of thumb is... You have four or five good core teams and your opponents are consistently way better than you, which means you're punching up than from where you should be. Um, then that's probably at the point at which you can uh, start to go for General Anakin Skywalker. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm actually going to be out of town until Tuesday. So you'll see a bunch of videos, but they're all going to be pre-recorded. So uh, let AP gains from the past know how you feel about AP gains from the future. All right, that got a little weird, but I'll see you guys later. I love you. Subscribe, all that other nonsense that makes YouTubers' egos gigantic.